Team Keep It Clean, a huge development came out of this Zay Flowers investigation yesterday, and we are going to get into this article shortly. Uh, before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you don't miss any updates on this or really anything else that happens uh, with the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, and also, as I know y'all will be, just please continue to be respectful. Uh, and I, I love y'all, and I hope that y'all are having a really, really good day. Now, let's get into this article. It says, uh, and this, of course, is from Justin Finn. He has been covering this thing in its entirety. Uh, it says, uh, Baltimore County Police have closed without charges an investigation into an incident of alleged domestic violence last month involving Ravens wide receiver Zay Flowers. Oh, and another thing before we continue. Um, if I get anything wrong, if I misunderstand anything, a lot of y'all know a lot more than me and understand the criminal justice system a lot more than I do. So please feel free in the comment section, respectfully, of course, to let me know if I made any errors, if I have any misunderstandings, if I just get it wrong. You could feel free to let me know. Uh, but anyway, I uh, will read that again. It says Baltimore County police have closed without charges an investigation into an incident of alleged domestic violence last month involving Ravens wide receiver Zay Flowers. So what I got for that part of the article right there, that first paragraph Sound like this case is closed and there are no charges brought against anybody. So let's continue. It says a woman showed up to the Acton Police Department in Massachusetts last month to report a violent domestic incident involving an NFL player in Owings Mills. She told police that the suspect's brother drew a gun, according to police records released Tuesday. She declined to identify the NFL player or seek further action from law enforcement. Officers wrote, instead, she questioned police about what would happen if she filed a report. So from that, um, they said it was the domestic violence incident in Owings Mills involving an NFL player. Um, said that that NFL player brother drew a gun, so he pulled a gun out. Uh, and that was according to the police reports. And it said that she did not, she declined to identi identify the identity of that NFL player. So she wasn't saying who it was. And then says she questioned police. Well, what, what would happen if she actually filed the report? So continuing, it says she told officers it was a really bad 10 minutes, but hasn't, but she hasn't been scared since according to police records. She also told them he has too much to lose and that he is too smart to do something like that. So, I mean, that part right there, it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't really think there's anything we could misunderstand from that. Because it says she told the officers he has too much to lose and that he's too smart to do something like that. So anyway, let's continue. It says the Baltimore banner confirmed earlier this month that police in Baltimore County and Acton were investigating an allegation of domestic violence involving the Ravens wide receiver. Both police departments declined to comment at that time with the matter now closed. Baltimore County Police released the records Tuesday under the Maryland Public Information Act. And it says the records show the woman declined to file a police report and officers connected her to flowers only by social media. So what they must have done, they must have obviously got her information, got her name and stuff. And they looked her up on social media because, as y'all well know, nowadays, like, jobs, they'll look through your social media. I mean, social media can tell a big part of your life story, um, who your friends are, who you might be connected with, who you hang out with. What you, it, it, it could tell so much because a lot of people, they put everything on social media. So it sounds like the, the, the police department, since she wasn't telling them who the alleged suspect was, then... They were like, you know what? We're going to try to find out our own way. So that's how they apparently connected her to Zay Flowers. But let's continue. It says the, the record showed a woman declined to file a police report and officers connected her to Zay Flowers only by social media. Officers contacted an attorney for the suspect, but the attorney told them his client would not be available for an interview. Police wrote that they, <coughs> excuse me, police wrote that they also called a Raven's vice president of security but that he was out of town and would call them when he returns. A Raven spokesman referred the banner to an earlier statement released by the team. So the police, they were trying to get in contact with Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers' attorney said, nope, he ain't, he ain't available for an interview right now. So he ain't talking to nobody right now. Then they were like, all right, we can't contact Zay Flowers. Let's go to his job. We're going to contact his employer. And that being a Baltimore Raven said they called the Ravens vice president of security. 
Is that Chad Steele or is that not? Maybe it's not. So I, you know what? I, I, don't quote me on that because I don't remember who it is. But anyway, um, they called the Ravens vice president of security. And Buddy said that he was out of town and he would call him when he returned. So they, they were trying. They were really trying to contact Zay Flowers and trying to contact his, his attorney, his employer. But obviously it didn't work. Then the Ravens spokesman referred to the banner to an referred the banner to an earlier statement released by the team, and that's when they said we take these matters seriously and we'll have no further comment at this time. So we do remember, and we we covered that when the Baltimore Ravens put out that official statement on this whole situation. Anyway, continuing, it says in addition, the NFL continues to monitor all developments. A league spokesman said Tuesday. Now that part because. Right now, it's saying that it, the investigation is closed uh, and that nobody's being charged with anything. We've seen this before to where an investigation could be closed and there may not be any charges. But the NFL, we've seen it in times before where they will still issue a suspension. They, they'll, they'll still issue one. So we got to wait it out to see if Roger Goodell and them, if they end up still issuing a suspension, um, because that is a very real possibility. Even though, again, Zay Flowers was not charged in this whole investigation, but the NFL, they sometimes they, they do things their way. So we just got to wait and see what happens with that. Uh, and then continuing in the article, it says the incident happened on January 16th, four days before the first of two Ravens playoff games. The 34-10 win over the Houston Texans. Five days later, the woman showed up uh, at the Acton Police Department with her father and a friend. And then the story continues. So it says she stated that she was physically assaulted, which left her with multiple bruises. Acton Police wrote. The woman stated that she was very hesitant to give much information due to the high profile status of the other party involved. I asked what she meant by high profile, and she stated that he is an NFL player. So it's like this, this story is like we get a little more and we get significant more and then it just stops uh, because this thing has been just it's been crazy. But anyway, continuing says she did not want to provide the suspect's name or address, but she told officers she had been living with her boyfriend in a townhouse outside Baltimore when the scene became violent and he trashed her belongings. She stated that she called 911 and was crying when they answered. She told the communications officer that she was okay and hung up, acting police wrote. Baltimore County Police released a 911 call in which a dispatcher can be heard asking a woman if she has an emergency or needs help. No, that's okay. Thank you. She responds, <coughs> excuse me, sounding upset. Two marked police cars were dispatched to the home in Owings Mills and sat in the parking lot for about two hours. Baltimore County Police called her back, but she did not answer. She closed the shades. She told acting police that she was glad the police cars arrived. Because the brother got scared, left the room, Put the gun away, and that is what really made it stop, she said, according to the police report. So, again, we, but when this story first came out, we got little small details here and there, but this is right now, this is the most details that we've gotten on this entire story since it, this whole thing came out a couple of weeks ago. Um, but let's just continue. Says Baltimore County Police dispatch recordings also show that on January 16th, a 911 call from a distressed woman was geolocated to the house next door to Flowers Owing Mills home where neighbors also reported seeing officers that day. The woman told acting police that she had photographs of her bruises, but she did not share them, officers wrote. Her father confirmed the bruises. She did not seek medical treatment. An acting police officer can be heard on body camera footage saying there were injuries, according to the report. So, again, that's the acting police. That's the one in Massachusetts. Also, during the interview with police, she looked at her cell phone and told officers that she was getting a call from the suspect's agent. Oh, she did not answer that call. The police report did not name the agent, but Flowers is represented by Zach Hiller. 
He has not returned multiple messages from the Baltimore Banner since February 8th. So Baltimore Banner, they've been trying to get answers from everybody too. But obviously nothing's been happening with that. So continuing, an acting, officer, an acting police officer offered her a form to seek a protective order and advise her of her legal options. The acting officer told her that he understands that this is a high profile person, but it does not set a precedent over her safety. She stated that she was not currently in fear and felt safe at home, officers wrote. Baltimore County contacted the police, excuse me, Baltimore County police contacted the woman and her father, but wrote that there were no further issues, nor did she disclose any additional information about the incident. She still had not identified the suspect. County police also wrote that without additional information, they have suspended the investigation. See, that's that's where it's been very tricky because beginning of the article, it says closed. End of this part of the article, it says suspended. And then the reason I say end of this part of the article, because the only things that they talk about now is, oh, Flowers was a standout at Boston College. They just talked about his his stats and stuff. But anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. This was this report was from uh, Jonas Schaefer and Gianna Hahn. A Baltimore band and, I, and I'll link it down below in the description too so y'all can check it out for yourselves but um so yeah so this it appears that the this whole thing is suspended unless they unless they get some additional information then it's suspended or I, I guess you could say it's closed for now um so yeah that's that uh well that's that for now um this is a very whoo article this is a very um this is something uh but again everything's is is closed whether that is closed temporarily whether that is closed permanently i guess that's still to be determined but for now everything is closed or suspended uh, until they get any additional information but again um nfl they did step in and say like hey we we watching we watching it. We we been monitoring this whole thing too, as you know they are. You know the Baltimore Ravens. They've been all over this thing, and you know the NFL. They would definitely be all over this. Um, so that is something to, I guess, just watch out for, pay attention to, wait on. Uh, we'll 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 see. So yeah, man. I just wanted to uh, cause this is a big development in this whole thing. Uh, so again, just to do a recap, Zay Flowers right now, they, they are the, the investigation is being closed uh, and nobody is being charged with anything. So if anything else happens with it, of course, y'all know, we will let you know. Uh, and again, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on. So any updates, again, regarding this or not, regarding anything with the Baltimore Ravens, uh, y'all know where you can get it from. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Again, remember to please be respectful. Uh, to everybody because it's, it's extremely important, uh, especially with sensitive banners like this. I love you.